how to set the clock on your Salus Controls IT700 smart thermostat. First of all, before you do do that, if you have got an issue or you want to just manually override the system, please remember on the receiver, you do have a manual. So if from the auto there, if you slide it across the manual and then switch it on, then you can override the clock and you can turn the boiler on. If for any reason somebody's done that, then you'll need to turn it back to auto and on and then the clock or the thermostat that will then control the receiver how to set the schedule if we click into the three lines on the left hand side click that twice and that'll take us to schedule settings we click the tick and in there we can set monday to sunday single days so you can do every every day separate if you wanted to or you can do Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday. For this video, I'm going to do Monday to Sunday. Click tick. And now we're going into number one there. So this is your first on in the morning. So from six o'clock, we can change that if we want. So we'll change it to seven. So from seven o'clock, click the tick. Let's just put from quarter past seven. So from 7.15, we want the heating to come on click the tick and now this is the temperature we want the house to be so let's set that to 21 degrees and the next setting number two is what time we want it to go off and we've got it at eight o'clock here but let's put it to we'll put it to nine o'clock click the tick again and again click that to 15. so quarter past nine the heating will go off and now this is the temperature we're asking it to be. So this is a setback temperature. So what that means is, if it goes below this temperature, the heating will still come on. So it may be you want it lower than 16, you might want it down near 12, so the heating will not come on. You might also want it so it is around maybe 18, so that if the house drops too low, the heating would come on. But that's up to you. If you've got any questions on that, just put a comment below but we'll just put that on to 16. Number three is what time we want it to come back on again. So we've got it at 12 o'clock here, but we might want it earlier than that. So let's say 11. So 11 a.m., we're gonna get it to come back on. Click on the tick, and again, we'll just put five past just for this video. Click on the tick, and again, what temperature do we want it to come on? So we probably want it to come on about 21 degrees click on the tick and now number four is what time we want it to go off we've got it set for one o'clock on there so again we'll just click on the tick click on the tick through that and again what time do we want it to go off so 18 is the temperature and again you can adjust that if you wanted to click on the tick and this is the third setting now for coming on so we've got number five on there so we'll set it to come on at you might want it to come on at six o'clock when you come on from work and again click on the tick click on the tick and then we're at what temperature again we're asking it to come on we might want it a little bit warmer because we're home on an evening so we'll set this one to 22 degrees you can do whatever temperatures you want on this and again click on the tick number six is what time we want it to go off so in this we might want, want it to go off at 10 o'clock at night so again click on the tick click on the tick and then what temperature do we want it to go to so this is again the setback temperature so you overnight you might want it a bit lower so let's say we set that to about 14 and click on the tick so that's how you do your your settings in there if you've got any questions on this please put a comment below